Hello and welcome to Julie Hall Designs. Today we're going to take a look at creating a knockdown stitch using the Janome Digitizer software. The version that I'm using is the V5 version. However, the um, ability to do this is available on all of the Janome software. As you can see, I have a design up here on my screen. I'm using a design from my Denim Delight collection. And the reason I've chosen this one is because it's a common one that I do on towels, and towels is what we use the knockdown stitch for. So this is holding down the pile around the design. So it's actually a really simple thing to do with your Janome software. Um, as you can see here, this is my design. Um, you can see on the sequencing mode, I can either choose to look at each object or I can see each color. Doesn't bother me at all what you use. First thing I'm going to do is select the entire design. Um, I'm a keyboard person, so I do that by selecting Control A to select the entire design. I then want to group the design together so it is a single object. I can do that using the shortcut of Control G or I can right mouse click and I uh, and use the group button. And that is now a single object and will move as a single object. From here, it's really, really simple. Sorry, I'm a little bit compulsive, so I really want to center that as I go. What I'm going to do is come through my toolboxes and I want to select the Advanced Digitize box. The Advanced Digitize box allows us to do things such as ambience quilting and the thing that we're interested in today is creating an outline. When you go into the outline and offset boxes, you get a couple of different options. You can choose to have an object outline or to create an offset outline. And the offset outline is what we want to do today. So ensure that if it's selected, turn off the object outline. And we are going to create an offset. And I want to create that offset. I honestly don't want it to be too I don't want the um, knockdown stitch to be too large around the design, so I'm going to take that down to 2.5 millimeters. Um, you can also choose if you're creating offsets um, for different things. You can choose how many offsets. We only want one because we're going to turn this into a knockdown stitch. Single run is fine, and I like to choose a color that I haven't used elsewhere in the design. So for me, I'm going to choose black on this just to make it easy to see. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on OK. And what you can see there is the offset that I have created. Now, if I come through my resequencing all the way down to the end where I can see that black, you'll see I have one resequencing of the entire design and then another one of all the little parts. So we don't want all of those little parts anymore. So all I'm going to do is select those. The easiest way to select those is to select the first object scroll down to where the last object is and hold down your shift button and click on the last and then I can delete those. So now that I have my offset and I'll be honest I'm not thrilled I'm just going to zoom in here. Now the zoom that I use is to hold down my shift and move my trackball mouse. I'm not thrilled with that object um, there and how it's not coming over nicely. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to try and reset that outline. 
Let's try creating it again and this time I might select a 4mm outline just to see how that works. And that actually gives me a nicer outline. So once again, I'm going to come through, delete the extra objects. You can make any changes from here simply by using or selecting that line and then using the reshape. And I'm just going to come, reshape that, and then I'm really happy with that entire outline. Once your outline is where you want it to be, keep the object selected and here on your um, toolbars, come through and instead of selecting line, change that to a fill. Don't be scared, this is not what you are going to stitch. But we want it to be a filled object. Now. Once you've got your filled object, you've got a couple of different options. You can very simply change that design to a cross stitch knockdown and move the object from the bottom of the list right up to the top where it will sit underneath all your other stitches and to make that easier to get a visual of what you'd be doing I'll change that to white and there your knockdown is complete. The other thing that you can also use is you can go a little bit more extravagant and use a motif fill. When you select the motif fill you can come down and select from all the different motives that you've got and I'm going to change this back to a black just so that you can see and there are some really beautiful um, stitches that you can use as a knockdown stitch to add extra detail to your design. Uh, one of my favourites from a knockdown point of view is the scribble, as I call it. And it will just sit under there, and once again I would change that back to white. And you now have a knockdown stitch that will securely hold down all of the pile in either minky fabric or in um, toweling. Very simply done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Other than that, have a stitching day. My name's Julie Hall. Enjoy.